so good morning students welcome to all in today's lecture lecture number 4 that is expressed values of module 1 so today basically we are going to talk about expressed values in the last lecture we talked about established values values that are established in myself so established means these feelings are recognized as established values because these feelings are ingrained in the self so established mean means to ensure these values are in continuation through the right understanding so in last lecture we talked about established values like trust respect affection care guidance reverence glory gratitude and love these feelings are self induced and are the basis of our happiness are the basis of our continuation of happiness but in this lecture we are going to talk about expressed values in detail so let's start the lecture with expressed values <clears throat> so as i told you in last lecture we talked about established values so for example the feeling of care is expressed as in the form of generosity so all expressed values are expression of established values so in this lecture we are going to talk about expressed values corresponding to their established values so we will study complementarityness complementariness expressed values of trust then transparency expressed value of respect commitment expressed value of affection generosity of care spontaneity expressed value of guidance similarly worship is softness and oneness of established values reverence glory gratitude and love so in today's lecture we are going to study all these expressed values in detail so when we express these values in complementarity they exhibit in the form of expressed values so these values are identified in the form of expressed values so our living based on these values becomes very cardinal so our behavior is actually manifest in the form of these expressed values to expressed values if based on established values then our behavior leads to mutual happiness so the presence of established values in self causes the manifestation of this expressed values and these values are also known as state activity and dynamic activity so all the state activities for being within become the inseparable part of our life this is the reason they are called state activities <clears throat> its expression in complementarity is manifested in the form of expressed values that's why they are called as dynamic activities so established values are also known as state activities and expressed values are also known as dynamic activities <clears throat> so dynamic activities means these activities these values are going to reflect in behavior so let's start understanding all these expressed values in details one by one so start with complementariness so complementariness is a expressed values of trust so complementariness means i am able to help to each other i am able to support the other person so if i have ensured feeling of trust in myself then our expressed values in our behavior this complementariness will be reflected so complementariness is identified as the expressed value of trust when we are ensured of the intention of each one of us we learn to cooperate in complementarity we are willing to work together we are able to participate together 
so we support we assist we participate with equal responsibility with each other so it is a manifestation of the feeling of trust so being assured of each other's intention now we are able to collaborate with others to participate with equal responsibility on the other hand if we have doubt instead of trust we waste our energy we waste our time in a position being in a relationship is manifested in the feeling of cooperation cooperation is the process of work and behavior too so when we live with feelings of cooperation we proceed towards an undivided society so once we have feeling of trust in myself then in my behavior in my expression this complementariness will be reflected so complementariness means we are able to support each other we are able to assist each other and we are able to participate with equal responsibility so in fact from my side this would happen because i have feeling of trust so from my side it is definite so with the feeling of trust with the assurance of intention now i am able to support the other unconditionally i am able to assist other unconditionally because i have trust on his or her intention so from my side this behavior is definite so whenever i will interact the person whom i have trust i will think of support i will think of assistance i will think of participation towards him so you can take pause for 2 minutes you can pause this video for 2 minutes and ask yourself do you have the feeling of trust if you have feeling of trust it will be happening in your expression so you can see how many people are around you whom you support unconditionally whom you assist unconditionally whom you participate unconditionally if it is happening it means you have feeling of trust established value so this trust is established in you then outcome will be in the form of this complementariness now let's move to another value that is transparency so transparency is recognized as express value of respect so we have studied about respect respect is right evaluation so basically right evaluation leads to knowing other as it is so it comes under dynamic activity right evaluation leads to knowing one with clarity when we can rightly evaluate each other there is no obscurity in relationship we have an evaluation every time whenever we are interacting whenever we are thinking of any other people we are making evaluation of him or her so whenever we evaluate ourselves rightly and we have some evaluation about the other rightly then this is a transparency so transparency is the situation when my evaluation about myself is the same as the evaluation of the others for myself so once i evaluate other and other knows about himself as i evaluated him it is transparency so in relationship we are able to rightly evaluate each other there is no secret there is no miscommunication there is no misunderstanding between us because i have evaluated you rightly so there is a transparency between me and you what i know about you what i have evaluated you you also have evaluated yourself it is transparency now you know about me everything i know about you everything this is transparency so transparency takes place when the evaluation of both the people happen in the same manner so in relationship we have some evaluation about ourselves and we have some evaluation about the other we keep doing this we evaluate ourselves we evaluate others the issue is only when we are evaluating myself or when i am evaluating the other 
are we doing the right evaluation if we are doing right evaluation then the transparency happen so what is transparency means transparency is the situation when my evaluation of myself is the same as my evaluation by the other and my evaluation about the other is same as the evaluation of the other by the other now both evaluation are same so this is a transparency so how do we know that we respect each other if we respect each other then there would be transparency among us there would be no gap we will be transparent to each other what i know about myself you also know about myself what i know about yourself you also know about yourself this is a transparency so both also know that the other has a right evaluation i know that i have rightly evaluated the other the other knows that he or she has rightly evaluated me this situation is called transparency so students again you can take pause for 2 minutes stop this video and explore within yourself are you able to ensure this transparency with anyone if it is happening it means you are able to ensure respect so if respect is ensured in relationship its outcome will be transparency so you can think of it you can reevaluate your relations and see is there transparency or is there any gap if there is transparency it means you have this established values in yourself that is feeling of respect so let's move towards another feeling next feeling is next value is commitment that is expressed values of affection so when i have feeling of affection in myself in my expression commitment will be reflected so commitment is basically an expressed value of this affection to so the acceptance of fulfilling one's duty and responsibility in relationship is called commitment the acceptance of fulfilling one's duty and responsibilities in relationship is called commitment so we feel happy to fulfill our duties and obligations to whom i have committed to whom i feel affectionate so once when we recognize others as our relatives we become happy in fulfilling the responsibilities towards our relative this is natural outcome if i have feeling of affection in you it is it will be natural outcome that i will feel committed for yourself for you so two aspects are important with commitment number 1 we want to fulfill our due duties and obligations number 2 we feel happy to fulfill our due duties and obligations so once i have feeling of affection for you i will fulfill all duties and obligations for you you know and we will feel happy contented after fulfilling my responsibility now fulfilling of responsibility is not a burden for me it is a natural outcome for me with the feeling of affection so commitment will naturally flow will naturally reflect in me if i have feeling of affection for you on the contrary when we don't commit even the small responsibilities we assume as a burden we start keeping track and comparing what i have done for you what you have done for me we start complaining each other in the absence of this feeling of affection so once i have feeling of affection then commitment for you is natural for me and i will feel happy while fulfilling my duties obligations towards you so again take a pause for 2 minutes stop this video for 2 minutes and ask yourself 
how many persons are around you to whom you feel or to whom you have feeling of affection it means if you have feeling of affection you will be committed for them you will be happy to fulfill all duties and obligations for them then fulfilling responsibility will not be a burden it will be a natural so commitment is natural with the feeling of affection so you can evaluate yourself whether do you have this feeling of affection for someone or not so let's start another feeling okay so next is generosity the generosity is the expressed values of care so once once we feel responsible for taking care of the relative thus we are committed and make effort to ensure the physical facility or service required for nurturing and protection of the body of this relative this is generosity so if i have feeling of care for someone i will be generous i will be committed to nurture and protect the body of my relative this is generosity we are committed and make an effort to ensure the physical facilities or services required for nurturing and protection of the body of my relative this is generosity so making the physical facility and service available from my side without expecting anything in return is generosity so if i have feeling of care for someone it means i will provide my all service physical facility required for his body for nurturing for protection without expecting anything in return this is generosity so by way of this feeling we can make required physical facilities and service available whenever required for children for elderly people this is generosity so in this way we can fulfill our responsibilities toward the previous and next generation so if someone has old in my house then i can show this feeling i can have this feeling for them if there are some young in my family i can also have same feeling for them so generosity with the feeling of generosity i take care of my elders and also i take care of my take care of my younger ones so this fe- uh, this feeling fulfill responsibility towards the previous and next generation so again stop for 2 minutes take pause and ask yourself evaluate yourself whether do you have this feeling in you or not whether the generosity expressed in your behavior or not if it is not expressed in continuity it means i don't have feeling of care established in myself so you have to work on established values so whenever you work on established values feeling of care then it will naturally flow in your expression then generosity will become natural in your expression so take a pause ask yourself whether do you have this feeling in yourself whether you f- find this expression while interacting with others or not if it is happening then it will ensure mutual happiness okay so l- let's move to the next feeling next feeling is spontaneity so spontaneity is the expressed value of guidance so in the process of sharing and ensuring the right understanding in the other self we can see that the others primarily see our conduct behavior our living first evaluate our words this happens during interaction so if we want to communicate something to the other it is essential to have the right understanding and live with the right feeling and right thought living with the feeling of guidance there is a natural outcome as expressed by the value of spontaneity 
so if we are living with the guidance feeling of guidance what will happen i do not have the arrogance like i know you don't know i am very important you are not important this rather we take it as our responsibility to help the other to learn to understand this is a state of spontaneity now we are able to express our guidance and the other is able to accept it when we are able to speak from the same level as that of the other so we can say spontaneity is to do with living in accordance with right understanding with definite conduct so i am living with definite conduct i am living with right understanding i am living with established values then accepting the other as being similar to myself and third one is rightly evaluating the competence state and situation of the other and being helpful in the further development of the other so spontaneity means it is it will happen in my expression it will happen at the level of my understanding so if i have a feeling of guidance then all these will be happening in my expression i will rightly evaluate the other i will rightly evaluate the competence of the other i will help him for for the development i will accept other as myself i will live with right understanding and right feeling that is with definite conduct it will happen from my side and it will naturally flow if i have feeling of guidance in me then spontaneity will be natural in my expression so again you can take pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself evaluate yourself whether you see these outcomes in your expression or not so you can note down your expression you can take feedback from the others about your expression whether they are able to see these indicators in continuity or not so you, you can take help from the other then you can again explore the feeling of guidance in you so if it is ensured feeling of guidance is ensured in your in you then spontaneity will be natural outcome so where we have to work in expressed values or ex established value we have to work on established values so as i will work on established values the spontaneity will be natural in my expression so if it is not happening in my expression we have to work on established values that is guidance okay so next we can move towards worship established expressed values of reverence so worship is basically expressed values of reverence when we can see excellence in the other that is now i can recognize that the other has right understanding the other has right feeling right thought than me and when we can see that the other is fulfilled within then we are inspired to work for that excellence then we inspired to live with mutual fulfillment as the other is living now i start learning from other i start making effort to be same as the other so to make effort for the excellence is called worship so what worship is so worship is basically a readiness to take help to develop the right understanding in myself so whenever i see an excellent people whenever i see a people living in harmony at all four levels i naturally get inspired to become like him and with this acceptance now i am ready to take help from him or her now i am ready to improve my competence to move towards excellence so it can be started with imitating following and then progress to obedience discipline and finally self discipline and self organized so where we have to reach basically fun, lastly we have to reach at self organized self discipline in the state of self discipline 
but we may start from imitating following then we may progress gradually towards obedience discipline and it can only happen when i am able to see excellence in other so once i recognize the other is excellent then i naturally get inspired to be like him and what bit will be its indicator its indicator would be i am ready to take help from him so initially we may start imitating we may start following but finally we have to reach at the state of self discipline we have to live uh, reach we have to live in a self organized manner so this will be the outcome of express value of reverence that is worship so worship is readiness to take help from the excellent so move towards excellence making effort towards excellence is actually a worship so next uh, let's move towards next feeling so next feeling is express value is is express value of glory so if i have ensured this feeling in myself in continuity then is will be reflected in my expression so is is the express value of glory glory is the feeling of acceptance for those who have made or making effort for excellence this we have studied in usp2 and usp3 too so what is feeling of glory feeling of glory is the acceptance for those people who are making effort for excellence in the society so if i accept those people then i have feeling of glory in myself so the feeling of comparison like i am more better than other this makes us uncomfortable within but once i accept once i accept the excellence in other this we we get rid of these feelings so when when we see excellence to whatever extent in the other we tend to take inspiration from the other rather than trying to compare and compete with the other in such a uh, case we get rid of ego we get great of over evaluation under evaluation so with the feeling of is we become simple so we have studied express values of glory it means is now the next feeling is softness this is express value of gratitude so what does it mean softness so it has to do with willingly making an effort to live and express oneself in self organized and harmonious manner so i am making effort to live in a self organized manner in a harmonious manner so in relationships when the other has been helpful to us we develop a feeling of gratitude we try to ensure living with harmony in those relationships we make an effort to live in harmony at least in these relationship even if we are not able to do but we try to make effort our direction get fixed so this is softness so we make effort with the uh, to live in harmony at least in these relationships so softness in conduct begins as an expression of the feeling of gratitude so if i feeling of gratitude then expression will be reflected in the form of softness okay let's move to another feeling is love express value is oneness so oneness is express value of love so what does it mean oneness oneness means now there is now i have feeling of no other we are one this is oneness in other words all 
आर अवर ओन ऑल आर इंटर कनेक्टेड ऑल आर इंडिपेंडेंट देर इज नो डिफ्रेंशिएशन दिस इज वननेस सो वननेस इज द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ फीलिंग ऑफ लव सो वंस वी हैव फीलिंग ऑफ लव वननेस इज शोन इन मी विद दिन विद द फीलिंग ऑफ वननेस देर इज नो बाउंड्री ऑफ माइंड और नॉट माइंड सो प्रेजेंटली इफ यू सी द करेंट सिनारियो करेंट स्टेट ऑफ सोसाइटी देर आर मैनी बाउंड्रीज एंड डिविजन समटाइम्स बेस्ड ऑन रेस समटाइम्स बेस्ड ऑन लैंग्वेज स्किन सेक्ट एक्सेट्रा बट विद द फीलिंग ऑफ वननेस दीज मेंटल बाउंड्रीज ड्रॉप ऑफ नेचुरली एंड वी कंसिडर एवरी वन एज सिमिलर टू मी सो लव एंड वननेस आर द बेसिस ऑफ अनडिवाइडेड सोसाइटी द फीलिंग ऑफ लव एंड थॉट ऑफ वननेस आर इसेंशियल फॉर बींग एबल टू सी वन सेल्फ कनेक्टेड टू ऑल वन सिग्निफिकेंट सिग्निफिकेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन मे बी इज दैट आर लिविंग इज विद अ लिमिटेड सेट ऑफ पीपल वेन वी हैव द फीलिंग ऑफ लव एंड वननेस वी कैन फुलफिल आर ड्यूटी एंड ऑब्लिगेशन विथ दिस सेट ऑफ पीपल वाइल वी हैव द राइट फीलिंग्स फॉर अदर्स द बेस फॉर एक्सप्रेस वैल्यू इज इस्टेब्लिश वैल्यू द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ नाइन इस्टेब्लिश वैल्यू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दीज नाइन एक्सप्रेस वैल्यू लिविंग विद दिस एटीन वैल्यूज लीड्स टू कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ फुलफिलमेंट इन रिलेशनशिप सो विद दिस नाइन इस्टेब्लिश वैल्यूज एंड एक्सप्रेस वैल्यूज द फीलिंग रीच द अदर इन द रिलेशन दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सप्रेस वैल्यू सो विद दिस द फीलिंग ऑफ लव आई हैव फीलिंग ऑफ वननेस वननेस विल बी शोन इन एक्सप्रेशन नाउ फॉर मी एवरी वन इज सिमिलर टू मी now i am assured about intention of the others it doesn't matter i know him or not but i have assurance of intention of everyone now i can see the other is similar to me at the level of program potential and purpose now i can see relatedness with everyone so all this when i have feeling of love so with the feeling of love there is a oneness in me so again you can stop this video for 2 minutes you can take pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself do you have this feeling of oneness or not so love and oneness are the basis of undivided society so to ensure undivided society this feeling is required in every individual so the feeling of love and thought of oneness are essential for being able to see oneself connected to all so when we have feeling of love and oneness we are able to fulfill our due duty and obligation properly so that's all from my set for this lecture so in next values in next class we will talk about justice so we have studied established values expressed values and in next lecture we are going to talk about justice thank you very much let's meet in the next lecture